wanted people Sure know how to drink I came to the party I laughed at the jokes you made I wish that I hadn't Cause now the joke's on me Ever since I got this, if you saw my previous video, I used it and I'm using it today. I think the filter itself is what is inspiring me to create <laughs> these kinds of images. All right, so let me show you guys what's going on. Anytime I'm shooting, I like to shoot to my laptop so I can see the images as they come and then I can make you know, proper adjustments because I have, again, a bigger screen to view. This is a 16-inch MacBook and comparing it to the size of the screen obviously there are certain things you will miss if you are you know limited to that screen size this setup is a three light setup my very first light which is my flashpoint 600 is being modified with the snoot and what i have in there because over here you can insert you know some cutouts just like this one so what i have is i have one variation of this that i've put in there to cast light coming through a window entering our scene and i want it to be cinematic so the way i'm doing that is by using colors right so this first light that i showed you is just a regular white light but my fill light which is this flashpoint um, or the godox 8400 is being bounced up into the ceiling and i have a blue gel on there so that anywhere that there's a shadow we're filling the shadow with that blue light. I also have another Flashpoint 400 and I'm modifying this with a small Octabox and I'm, again, I'm just taking the diffusion off so we have a bit of a harsher light uh, coming through. For our set, I just brought this couch, you know, added this blue fabric in there. The backdrop is my green canvas and I just creased it a bit so we have a bit of texture. And then I also added the plant and we have a bit of the door showing through. So, you know, it's all of these layers are just adding interest. And then we have our subject right there. And then again, I added a lamp just in front and that lamp is, is a warm light. So it's going to go warm in the frame and it's going to color contrast against the blue um, going on. I don't really care about this green in the back because it's not really going to translate as green because we have this blue gel light filling everywhere that is going to be a shadow and turning those blue. So it's gonna go dark and it's going to look a little bit more blue. I'm gonna take again the shots one by one so you guys will see how everything comes together. Subscribe if you haven't, if this is your first time joining us. I make Photoshop and photography videos just like this one. So consider subscribing. Comment, subscribe and share. Yes, like, comment, subscribe and share. So my settings, I'm at 1 over 100 on shutter speed f4.5, ISO 160. I'll take a test shot. And I only have the light in the back, which is this one, going off. So you can see that I'm shooting at 1 over 100 on the shutter speed so we can see the light from the lamp visible in the shot because I want that to be in the shot, okay? It's, it's very intentional. Now I'm gonna turn on my second light, which is supposed to be the fill light. So you can see everywhere that is dark right now is supposed to have light, but because we've gelled the light blue, we're going to get a blue cast in the frame. <laughs> she says, peace. <laughs> so as you can see, we're filling the shadows with a lot of blue. I can decide to open the shadows a tiny bit um, over here. So if I go into blues, just to bring maybe a little bit more blue in there and also increase the saturation. So that's the power of using gels. You have a lot of flexibility when you're doing stuff like this. In post as well, you can decide if you want to change the color or anything else. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna turn on my main light, which is at one over four. And I'll take another test shot. Ooh, I like that, I like that. This is the one that's supposed to cast the window pattern in our frame. And I think we even have a shot already. This looks amazing, but I'm going to work with Siki. We'll try different angles, different poses till we get something that works, so enjoy. So I'm using the lamp as a foreground element, just adding interest. I love that. 
How about you just, so raise your chin, yeah, and then just with, the, with your eyes, the corner of your eyes, yeah, just look into the camera. Yeah, that's it, beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. One more shot. Ooh, I love that. Just turn your face a little bit more. To me, yeah, that's it. Perfect. Relax your fingers. Yes, 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 yes. And how about if you bring your, yeah, just like that. Beautiful. And turn your face a little bit more to me still. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Bring your chin down a tiny bit. Yes. Okay, one more. 